Hi, welcome to, a guideline for the reduction in uniform live loads for structural column according to ASCE 7, using ETABs. According to minimum design loads and associated criteria for buildings and other structures, ASCE 7. The reduction in uniform live load could be calculated as per this equation. The live load could be reduced by a maximum of 50% for one floor and could be reduced by a maximum of 60% for two or more floors. The influence area, A, L. Equal to, the live load element factor, K, L, L, multiply by tributary area, A, T. For live load that is not storage, parking, and assembly area. The probability of a full live load is unlikely when the influence area is larger than 37.16 square meters. The live load element factor could be determined by using this table. However, in practice, you can actually skip this table and calculate the influence area directly without bothering with the live load element factor. The heavy live load such as a storage room, or, parking area, the live load could be reduced by a maximum of only 20%. In the case of occupancies involving relatively heavy basic live loads, such as storage buildings, several adjacent floor panels may be fully loaded. Unlike live loads in office and residential buildings, which are generally spatially random, parking loads are caused by vehicles parked in regular patterns, and the parking are often full. The rationale behind the reduction according to area for other live loads, therefore, does not apply. Various densities of humans' life loading are shown here. Each figure shows people standing in an area 2 meters by 2 meters and the densities assume that each person weighs an average 70 kilograms. Eight persons in a space of 4 square meters are equivalent to humans' life load of 1.5 kilopascals. Eleven persons in a space of 4 square meters are equivalent to humans' life load of 2.0 kilopascals. 17 persons in a space of 4 square meters are equivalent to humans' life load of 3.0 kilopascals. With the live load of 3.0 kilopascals we can now see that there is barely space left hence, unlikely for life load reduction. 22 persons in a space of 4 square meters are equivalent to humans' life load of 4.0 kilopascals. Very unlikely for life load reduction. 28 persons in a space of 4 square meters are equivalent to humans' life load of 5.0 kilopascals. We can see that the live load reduction is not feasible in this case. For the assembly area that usually with live load of 3 kilopascals or higher, the live load reduction is not permitted. This figure shows the definition of the influence area for the interior column, edge column, and corner column. Now let's take some examples to demonstrate the calculation of the influence area. By creating this framing plan for a nine-story building, the manual calculation will be compared with ETAB's automatic live load reduction factor. You can either create the structural model in ETABs directly or by making the Revit model then transfer to ETABs. In practice, I would recommend making Revit model for higher efficiency of geometry control, drawing package and much more. For those who are not familiar with transforming the Revit model to ETABS model, please refer to this video series as per the link in the description below. In ETABS, the live load reduction factor will be applicable to the reducible live load type. In ETABS, from the design menu, choose the live load reduction factor. Then choose the setting as shown here. In order to display the ETABS automatic live load reduction factor. From the concrete or steel design menu, choose display design info. The from design input, choose live load reduction factors to display the automatic live load reduction factor. For the interior column as shown here, the influence area is 256 square meters per each floor. The manual calculation in comparison with ETAB's automatic live load reduction factor for each floor is shown here.
For the edge columns, the influence area is 192 square meters and 134.4 square meters per each floor. The manual calculation in comparison with ETAB's automatic live load reduction factor for each floor for both edge columns is as shown here. For the corner columns, the influence area is 144 square meters and 212.2 square meters per each floor. The manual calculation in comparison with ETAB's automatic live load reduction factor for each floor for both corner columns is as shown here. You can always overwrite the ETAB's automatic live load reduction factor with your own manual live load reduction factor from the design overwrite menu. ETAB's automatic live load reduction is useful, however, it can not replace the structural engineer's judgment. Software is just a tool, so, use it wisely.